Hello my friends and welcome to another pick a card reading. I hope you're all doing really well and it's always so good to have you here. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. It really means so much to me to have you here watching these readings and getting something from them, um, which is why I keep on doing them, so thank you. Um, before I begin with the reading, I just wanted to let some of you know that I am hosting an online event that will be taking place on Tuesday, um, that's the following Tuesday, which I should have checked the date, which will be on the 26th, uh, and that's Greenwich Mean Time, and that will be at 7 till 8.30 and in that session we will be doing shamanic journeying, tarot, astrology and Reiki healing. It's a hour and a half event um, and it will be done over Zoom which will be in the comfort of your own home and it will be to celebrate the new moon, oh, sorry the full moon. We, we're doing these every month, I'm doing it with my um, wonderful friend and sister-in-law um, soul treasures well-being sam and i'm really looking forward to hosting another one of these amazing events um they, they've been really good um and they give you a really good insight as well if you want to start working with shamanic journeying they're quite an inexpensive way to start because um it will just give you like a short introduction into like how journeying can really work for you and you can start to work with intention and then if you want to go deeper into shamanic work, then you can, you know, consult me directly or, um, you know, hit me up for more information about how to, to go deeper into that side of things. Um, so the investment is £15, which is 15, uh, I think it's about, I'm not too sure how much that is in, in dollars. But it's a really good investment. We do do group bookings in terms of um, if you want to come to several of the, of the events because we'll be doing them until the end of the year. If you decide that you want to attend throughout all the year, yeah, we can give a discount for that as well. But do let me know. I will put the link in the description box for the event. Um, best thing to do really though is to, to hit me up directly to get in touch directly because then I can give you a discount without any of the fees. So, um, whereas the hosting sites that we use, they use fees, but we just have the hosting sites so that you can like have some information about the event. So with that being said, um, you've got three piles to choose from. It'd be lovely to see you there, by the way, lovely to see you there and lovely to see, you know, just interact with you directly. And then you'll also get to experience some sense of shamanic drumming, um, in a, you know, personal context. So it'd be really good and work with intention. So... It'd be lovely to have you there. Okay, so with that being said, um, yep, we've got three piles to choose from. Um, we've got pile one, pile two, pile three. Advice for your current situation. Pile one is this beautiful, um, this beautiful jade, nephrite jade. Pile two is this gorgeous Norina jasper. And pile three is this black jade. Okay, so pile one, pile two, pile three, timestamps will be in the description box below and I'll see you at your reading. Bye. Pile one, hello and welcome to your reading. So you chose this Norena, just, sorry, this, um, got Norena in my head. Um, this jade stone and then you've also got this card now jade is one of the ultimate imperial protectors of um kind of the crystal world um within the east asian traditions jade was a very very important stone um and the thing that's kind of getting me the most about the stone right now is the waxy feel that it has you know even though it is like a, a hard gemstone it isn't it isn't that hard, like on the most scale, I think it's quite, which is a hardness scale. It's, it's not that hard. So what I'm getting is that this situation actually may be more fortuitous than you are anticipating it to be. Um, there may be something hidden about it, something that may appear initially not so uh, beneficial, um, but actually there's something quite beneficial about the situation. 
So let's have a look. Wow, tiger, personal power. So yeah, this is about you reclaiming that sense of personal power and you being able to... And Jade and Tiger is very... Like, they go together so well. There's something about you really having an accurate sense of integrity in this situation as well. Um, making sure that you are not undermining yourself or any or, or the the value of the situation and i'm sorry if this is quite an intense situation for you um this might not be you know it might not be your reading but just like bear with me um let's just have a little look at more but this is about you being able to harness your personal sense of power wow flower of life and it's reversed. I will take it reversed. Um, so what I'm getting from that is that I think there's a sense where you're not able to be as productive as you might want to be within this situation. And because of that, you're actually seeing that as a limit. Um, and actually, you know, the, the, the whole sense of, you know, some tigers don't do anything <laughs> within a situation. Sometimes they just, you know, that just being a tiger is enough. So I think that might be something to consider here. Advice for pile one's current situation. Advice for pile one's current situation. Advice for pile one's current situation. Okay, regret. I, can, I know that I cannot change the past. Okay, so you might be in a situation where you are actually thinking, God, why did I get myself into this? Why did I agree to this situation? Why did I do this? Um, there's not really a sense of me being productive in the way that I want to be. I don't really feel free within this situation. Um... There may be a sense of where your personal power is compromised. And I think, you know, when we get these kind of situations, and trust me, it's so much easier for somebody external to be saying this, so please only take what resonates. But, you know, when we're in a situation where we feel that we're disempowered um, or where we're, you know, where we've received some news. So I had a friend of mine that just recently received some news that she is now diagnosed with IBD, which is, I think irritable bowel and we used to call it ibs but now it's called ibd irritable bowel disorder i think as opposed to irritable bowel syndrome and you know it can be really disabling depending on the variation of your flare-ups um so you know and it was really interesting listening to her talk because i was thinking about her when she got the diagnosis and then and then I spoke to her the next day about what was going on. And uh, actually, it was just yesterday. And, um, you know, I just I just said to her, like, this is this is an opportunity for you to understand your body a little bit better. Um, I'm not being, you know, uh, kind of woo-woo about it. I'm just trying to be practical in the respect of, like, okay, your body is now trying to tell you something about the way that you've been living. So this is just something to think about. And, you know, we kind of take it for granted about our health and we think that we're going to live forever. Trust me, I think about that whenever I have a chocolate cake or whatever, or like eat sugar instead of eating what I should do because, you know, I've got my own health issues. So, um, you know, it's just... It's just about being able to like manage oneself and understand like what this means um, for you. Um, and, you know, j just when I spoke to her about it, she kind of, you know, sh she felt really down about it. And I said to her, yeah, but, you know, there's some other things for this to tell you. So just maybe just do some research about it, maybe read about it. And I said to her, are you drinking any teas or anything like that? You know, because she was just mainly concerned about the type of things that she wasn't allowed to eat anymore. And I said to her, like, you know, just, just have a look at stuff. And then I started Googling some stuff about types of teas, which would be good for the stomach. And she was like, I haven't actually even done any of that. And I was like, I know, you know, sometimes Dr. Google can be a little bit like, it's not very good. But if you know how to discern the information and not take on everything on board, 
then I think that you could find it as a valuable resource for you to be able to, you know, um, help yourself. Um, I've got a certain issue with my neck, which actually is totally debilitating and has completely annihilated my confidence. But, um, but you know, I, I've actually found very good things and I haven't been to a doctor once because I can't, I don't know, in the UK, it's just not that great to see a doctor anymore. Um, they're usually just immediately prescriptive as opposed to wanting to really think about the the root cause of what's going on. And particularly within my shamanic work, that's what it's about. So I think what I'm trying to say from this whole ramble is that there's something in this situation that is causing you to go back to the reason why you're here. Why, why are you in this situation? Because there's something for you to create in this situation. And, you know, you've got this regret about what's happened, but there's clearly something for you to learn here. Whatever it is. Um... And I, I, I don't like using that term, everything happens for a reason, because I don't think that that's really applicable. I think it's quite generalised and it can be really painful. Um, all, all I can say is that in my knowledge, you know, I, I, I fully believe in cause and effect, even though I've been <laughs> watching a lot of things that kind of go, <laughs> that chuck that out the window, <laughs> namely the film Tenet. Um, but... You know, it's just this idea that, you know, our actions have consequence, you know. Um, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we do things and they, ju they do just happen. Um, if you want to go down the spiritual route and think about whether or not it's something to do with the past life karma, whatever, you know, all, all the kind of reasons that you want to give for it, that's all well and good. But from a spiritual perspective, and particularly from a shamanic perspective, we look at things holistically. So there is something going on on a spiritual level that is happening when you don't, um, when these things are happening around you, or you're in, you find yourself within these situations. I do also find that when you take, when you try to take responsibility, which the tiger does, right? The like. A tiger takes responsibility. Um, if you take responsibility for a situation, you know, it's like that whole thing. And we, I, I work with, or when I work with my clients, I say this, but I also, this is what I do, like personally. Nothing what I explain to any of you is something that I wouldn't do myself. These are all things I would do myself and I've been through myself. So it's not, this is not just me just mouthing off random, uh, random kind of advice. So what I would say is that, you know, I find that when I take responsibility for every, like, I take responsibility as much as I possibly can. That's when things get better because then I actually have more control over a situation than I did previously. Take with that what you, what you will, but that's been my personal experience, even though an, a situation has been totally out of order, like, absolutely unjust. And I've been in some intense situations where it's been absolutely unfair completely discriminated for my race, for my colour, for my, um, for my, uh, for being a woman, you know, just, you know, for being a person, <laughs> like, it's just, it's been constant, so, you know, but still, I will take responsibility for what I can, in a way, there's a little bit too much, um, responsibility that's taken, but then also I do find that I'm more in control, you know. So take from that what you will. It's a, it was a big like, you know, big blabber on. But I just think that that thing where you, where you try to take responsibility as much as you can without compromising your integrity is going to be really a good thing here. Particularly with the, the energy of Tiger. And FYI, I, I most of the time resonate with part one. So, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's see what the cards have to say about your current situation. So you've got the two of swords. Uh, you've got the page of cups reversed. 
Uh, you've got the, again another two wow two of wands reversed and you've got this what's that six of pentacles reversed no it's the nine of pentacles reversed no it isn't one two three four five six seven eight nine no it is nine of pentacles reversed okay nine of pentacles reversed wow yeah like i mean this is quite a hostile situation not gonna lie um it's an intense situation where you're thinking wow um I can't really speak my mind. I'm not really finding any kind of um, joy. I'm not really even finding really people who I can trust or like that something nice, like people aren't, aren't being like the nicest of people within this situation. Um, or it doesn't really bring out the best in people for me to view, including myself or yourself. Um, you've got the two of wands here as well, which is kind of, and it's reversed. So it's almost like, some of you may feel that you've kind of taken a step back as opposed to like going forward. So sometimes, you know, when you enter in situations, you want to, you know, there's this kind of thing where you want to move forward in a situation or you want to kind of like better yourself with any kind of situation that happens. Whereas like here, it feels like you've gone backwards. It may feel like you've gone backwards, particularly with this as well, because there's a sense of reliance where you weren't used to it. I think what also is happening is that you're understanding that you want, a, you don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone, but the compromise of being alone, um, but the compromise of being with people against being alone, I don't know whether or not you'd really be up for that. Wow. This is a cool reading. Um, so that's your current situation. So let's see what's going to happen. And I think that that's an amazing realisation because I think when we understand that we don't, want you know that we don't want to be alone and we want we want a community but what kind of community do we want and how do we want to have this community in our lives like are we going to compromise our integrity and our values because of that because um that's not really what it's about um we need to do something that's you know in line with our integrity now the two, we've got two twos here. Um, the two twos that were there, two of wands, the two of uh, swords. Um, they're fast moving. So this is going to change like very quickly. It's going to change. In fact, your perspective is going to change the situation. Just like that. So this is all about your perspective. So all that stuff I said at the beginning about you taking responsibility for what you think in this situation is exactly what you need to be doing according to this reading. Take it or leave it. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But that's what I see. Wow. Four of coins. Yep. Okay. And then we've got the two of cups. Yes. Okay. Right. I love this two of cups so much. I love it so much. Um, and strength, look at that. Oh my God, love it. Seven of wands, okay, right. So, I don't know. I think that what's going on, right, is that these are ghosts from the past that are essentially, it's quite like, hold on one sec. Let me just pause the video for a sec. There we go, that's better. It wasn't clicked in properly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now you can see all the cards. Um, okay, so four of coins is about stability. Now, I'm not, I'm also, I'm not gonna lie, like you're already in a situation which is already some kind of, it's almost like a fortress. So, I, I, you know, it's like you trying to get into a situation that, you know, it's like you trying to, um, what's that word? What's this? There's a saying that would encapsulate what I wanna say perfectly. But it's like you talking to a brick wall. It's, that's not the saying, but that's the that's the message I want to convey. It's like you talking to a brick wall. Like these people only care about money. They only care about status and money. And to be honest, you need to adopt that kind of position. You need to like, you need to do it. You need to do it. We've got Vulture and we've got the Tiger here. Very much about covetedness. This, this card is about coveting. You know, keeping things for yourself, keeping what's special for you, for you, yeah? Sorry about this, but fuck everyone else, you know? Fuck it. Um, you've got the two of cups here. 
Two of Cups, Page of Cups. It seems like um, by you not um, not conceding to relationships that are not worthy of you attracts exactly what you need. Yeah, it really does. The integrity is really strong. You actually form really good friendships from that because people actually appreciate who you are. Two of Wands is clarified by strength. Um, you know, th this is about, and I just got reminded of, or a flash of, I was like watching um, boats on the North Sea <laughs> and about how fishermen on the North Sea are probably the most hardiest fishermen alive. And I, I just don't know, like, how people could sail on the seas. It's just, it makes me, it makes me feel sick even thinking about it. But, like, th these sea, sea persons, <laughs> sea people, you know, men of the sea and women of the sea and people who captain boats and things like that, they are incredible. And this is the strength that you're getting from that. Like the tenacity, the strength, the um, the bravery. That's all coming from that. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Um, and it, it grows, basically. And then this Nine of Pentacles, um, the Seven of Wands. You know, I, I think a lot of ghosts from maybe not wanting to be alone and not wanting to be um, singular in, in your pursuit, that kind of comes across. But you, I think, you know, you have to be realistic about it. Um, and what's really interesting about this figure is that this figure is, in this story, is a collective figure of all of the black men that built the railroads of America. I, I, this is such an incredible card, actually, because, um, like, a uh, picture of all this card, because, and then they created this statue of this man and that represented all of them and their blood and their sweat and their tears, you know, and their souls that went into the building of the American railroad system, the slaves. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's about rising up and about being able to see what sense of integrity, what, what, what drives you in achieving a true sense of integrity within this situation. Because I think once you understand like how high the stakes are in terms of your personal goals, this will be like, you'll be like, what the hell am I like fretting about this for? It doesn't really make any difference. Like the, this, this riffraff, this stuff, this thing that I'm associating with. It's not really worth my time, my effort, my energy. I feel so passionate as I'm talking about it as well. So yeah, it's really... This is really a strength and a test of um, your integrity. Pile, um, interesting how the strength card just did that. Um, pile one. And a real need to connect back to your sense of like creation and spirituality, which will help you. Wow. See beyond the past. Love that. So, and it's number 23, so number five. So I think, yeah, like, this is about you looking beyond what the the kind of like past has presented to you and not being a victim to it. Okay, so I've got your last card to close out your reading, pile one. This, this deck is so beautiful. I love this deck so much. Um, I'll list all the decks in the description box below. But let's have a look. Some last advice about your current situation. This card here? Yeah, okay. Natural born badass. <laughs> Look at a little frog. <laughs> so cute, these cards. I love them. I love them so much. Um, there you go. Pile, um... One, there's your message for your current situation. I hope you enjoyed that reading. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. 
definitely advice for myself. Um, <laughs> if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Um, and if you wish to share, please do. Uh, do get in touch for a personal reading if you wish. But otherwise, my darlings, take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful morning, evening, night, whenever you're choosing to watch this. And remember that honesty is always key. Bye. Part two, hello, and welcome to your reading. So, you chose this beautiful Norena Jasper. And, you know, what I really like about this stone always, I just, it really soothes me. Um, there's a really soothing quality about it. Um, something, even though we've got, like, quite stark, kind of, um, and it doesn't really look very... I wouldn't say that it doesn't look natural, but it's not um, like normal stone kind of things, you know what I mean? Like it's it's almost like a crisscross pattern and whereas like most jaspers, I don't know, they seem to be a little bit more like this, you know? Hold on, I'll <laughs> Oh, it's going for a little walkabout. Um, that's what happens when you have jasper is ball and it just goes on walkabouts but as you can see like there's kind of like this kind of gradual like it's almost layered effect whereas with this it's not very layered it is on this side but not that side so what i see by that is something again doesn't like part one doesn't seem the way that it is so this this situation has other things to offer you um and also is quite deceiving in its nature, um, but there is something quite comforting about it, um, quite like soothing about the situation that is going to be beneficial for you, I think, um, in a way that you did not expect. This is going to be something quite different um, for you to experience. Let's have a little look. Wow, here, luck beyond fear. Wow. I mean, already I'm seeing like quite a similar vibe to part one, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's slightly different because there's a sense of you being able to like navigate your way through this situation as opposed to, yeah, this is about navigation. Um, what I can see right now is the hair kind of jumping around and, you know, be using its power of movement um to help itself that's what i'm seeing pile two so let's have a look at some astrology for you it came out nice and quick okay jupiter but it's reversed um so what i'm seeing here is that th there's there's something about you like it says luck beyond fear so it's almost that I don't know if you're not willing to take a step into the unknown. You know, you're kind of, you're staying in the fear, and not in the fear, but you're staying in the safe, safety of something. And I just got reminded of a David Goggins, who's crazy, okay, I just FYI, but he's like the extreme version of like, you, it, you, you can put your mind, you can get anything you can put your mind to. But just as an example, he kind of gives us an idea of what the human body is capable of, what the what a human being is capable of. Um, not saying that necessarily it's the best way to do it, but it just gives you an idea that this this is actually possible. I can achieve more than I think I can. And um, I think, you know, everything else is on the other side of fear. Um, I don't know what that quote was, but I think mentioning him was actually probably more relevant to the situation. So, okay, so it's got doubt and reverse. I, I released the need to know all the answers um, and it's reversed. So you may be having trouble with releasing the doubt you have about the situation that we're asking about. Let's have a look with the tarot a little bit deeper. But I just feel that you currently need to adopt a light-footed attitude to the situation which allows you to not get dogged down in any kind of expectation about the situation. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got the Six of Swords reversed. 
We've got, thank you, only four cards. We've got, okay, there's a lot of thinking going on. We've got the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, you got five cards, lucky you. I was hoping it was, it was uh, four cards, but never mind. Okay, and then you've got the Two of Cups. You've got the King of Swords. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So, for some of you, this might be about a relationship. It might be about whether or not you actually want to put your faith into someone about a relationship. Because, I don't know, there, 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 it seems like there's someone that's talking the talk. And... I don't know, like, maybe that this is something where previously... Okay, there's two scenarios. So where previously you have been hurt in situations and, you know, you kind of come across characters which have been able to really kind of, you know, wind you, down you, or like, you know, really show you all of the amazing things that tell you about... that, 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 that you want from a partnership or relationship. It, it feels like a close relationship. It could be, it, it might not be love. It might be a business partnership or some kind of collaboration effort. Um, but it's it's a very good one. But you might be having doubts about it um, because for the simple thing, I think, you know, you've kind of established yourself on your own and you've done really well in doing that. And now there's this character that kind of like comes across where they seem to chat the chat. And they do have, they do have like a good backing. They do seem like they are legit in what they say. But maybe because you've been hurt in the past, because we've got the seven and the six of swords here. You don't know whether or not you're going back into patterning and behavioral like patterning that you've experienced before. So for example, if you've had like problems with like narcissistic dynamics... And then you've ended up like falling victim to like the love bombing stage. And then it kind of like makes you think, oh God, I don't know whether or not I really can trust people or trust people that exhibit this sort of behavior towards me because that usually means it's a love bomby kind of vibe. Um, love bombing, for those of you who don't know, is when someone seems too good to be true. So for example, you immediately get on, it's like a house on fire and you're just kind of like, yeah, this is amazing, this person's amazing. And then it just kind of like fizzles out. Usually those things do fizzle out anyway, in my experience. Um, but like what's going on here is actually this person has some integrity. They definitely do. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, and I usually see the King of Swords as like fixed air. So we're looking at like the Aquarians. So this is quite an Aquarian detached kind of like vibe. Queen of Pentacles I usually see as like the the kind of uh, cardinal um, uh, signs. So you're looking at Cardinal Earth, which is the Capricorns. And it's interesting. We've got a ram here, which is kind of it's horns but you know that's usually to do with Aries so there may be something even about that time because that hold on a minute no we're missing a sign so we're missing Pisces so I mean there could be something that could be either Capricorn and Aries um there could be some kind of thing there maybe something happened around about that time as well Capricorn is around about like 24th December to like 24th or 21st you know uh, January and then you've got the Aries kind of time, which is happening now, which is happening, we're, we're right at the beginning, which is when this reading gets released. So check the date on that. Um, March time. So there may be something happening around that time, but there is definitely some kind of connection that's a good connection. Um, I just feel like there's been like a lot of previous doubts and I feel like someone's been stung previously. I wouldn't be surprised if you two are coming together because you've been hurt by other people, you know? And I, I don't necessarily think it's romantic. I'll find out in a minute. But like, you know, it's just... I just feel like neither of you have had much luck in finding people. And there's just like to, to connect with. And then there seems like there's actually... You know, but, but you actually really do want to connect with other people. Okay, so let's clarify. Current advice for... Oh, advice for part two's current situation...
Okay, so we've got the Empress, fantastic. Then we've got, again, the Four of Pentacles. That was the same for Pile 2. Pile 1, sorry. Wow, that's interesting. Two of Cups clarifying the Two of Cups. Two of Cups reverse clarifying the Two of Cups. Did I shuffle these properly? <laughs> same cards. Oh my God, the Four of Wands reversed. Okay, Queen of Wands, right. Yeah, I feel like, I feel there's a little bit of apprehension about like past. I, I don't know, this person that you're dealing with, this like King of Swords, I don't know if they believe that they can ever be happy. I think they may have like, or that their destiny really involved someone else because it just feels like, you know, that they don't really, they don't really feel that way. Um, and that might be what you're picking up on. But we've got the Queen of Wands and the Empress here. We've got like really strong divine feminine energy here. So what I'm feeling is that there's a sense of you really, I think personally, either one of the party or either you, I think more likely you, I think you're really strong within yourself, but there may be fear about you going into this relationship with this person because you can sense the fear um it, again I, I don't see overall about love but it could be um there is strong love vibes emanating from this pile but i'm i mean it's not necessary um two of cups reverse clarifying the two of cups says to me about what i was saying before previously about the you know, about the possibility of relationships. There's a deep, like, want and need not to be alone. You know, you want to be, you want to be with someone. There's a desire to want to find someone. But I think, um, and, and I think it's important. Because you know, like, how sometimes we can, like, shut, like, shut down from being hurt. Um, and we can stop love coming in. And it doesn't even happen consciously sometimes. Sometimes it just happens, you know, it's just... An automatic thing or a, a reaction that happens that we've been conditioned to because of our because of whatever I don't know so but what I've got here is that I think there's a lot to say and teach within this situation and I think there's an opportunity for real growth within the situation and it has to be approached with this hair energy you can't go with anything stronger because if you do, you might chase the person away. You know what I mean? So I think it's important for, and for both of you. Because I think if it goes in too heavy, then you might start questioning it. And if it goes in too heavy, they might like be like, no, 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 no. So I think, I think you have to work up and warm up to the idea that both of you can be happy within this situation. Whatever it is. I don't know if it's romantic. I... As I said, like I feel like it's romantic, but for some of you, I feel like it's just a really close connection. It's just because we've got so many, like the couples kind of vibe, you know? It may be something that leads to romance, it could do. But, you know, it could even be a case that you two join in the fact that, you know, you haven't connected. I was watching, there's a wonderful YouTuber I listen to called Yona Yinton. Uh, spelled J J O N N A and J I N T O N Yoni Yinton, um, and she did a wonderful video about her partner who she met, and I was just listening to it before I went to bed last night, and he was saying about how he actually found that he moved out of the of the city and decided to go into the country you know, rent a house out and just live on his own. And he was actually fully believing that he was going to live on his own for the rest of his life. That was it, you know. And it's not to say that he didn't want to live with anyone. Um, he definitely did. But he, you know, he kind of like thought, okay, that's it. That's going to be me. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to be one of those people that live on my own and be on my own forever. And... Um, you know, in the end, um, they met each other and it turned out that they were exactly like each other. Like she was 
saying the same thing about how they were both exception, like extreme introverts, um, and you know they both they did exactly the same thing: move out of the city, go to the country, and were all right with being on their own. But then something happened, and they met, and yeah, then their lives just became amazing. So. That's a romantic version of it, but that's what I'm thinking, like, you know, it's these two souls that have, like, really kind of understood, like, where, what they want, what their place is, and then when they're not looking, it just kind of happens, and this is what this feels like. It does feel like. And it also tells me that this is the reason why it hasn't worked out with anyone else. And I also feel like whoever is the female energy in this, in this connection more is going to invoke an even stronger female connection within the other person. Um, it's going to really like create something beautiful. There's this powerful manifestation energy here. And beautiful kind of divine intervention. Okay, so to close out the reading, I've got two cards for you. Wow. You are more. We've got this gorgeous eagle, but then it's reversed. And it's three reversed. Okay, so, and three is the Empress. I will take it reversed. For the simple fact we've got this, like, kind of Jupiter kind of vibe going on here, which is reversed. So it's almost like you really have to count your blessings, you know, within this situation. Um, and also just understand that, you know, we've got people in our lives and they've come across our paths for a reason. And we need to look at their positives rather than the negatives in order to help that. I'm not talking about just like glossing over red flags, all right? Use some discernment. But whereas, you know, just being astute in, in not, you know, allowing yourself to, to succumb to the negative aspects of, of something. Um, I see a lot of memes on... Instagram and stuff about people and I I actually ended a friendship because of this reason but you know like people looking at particular star charts and if they're like if, if their stars align or if they're you know if, if there's too many red flags or if there's too many things that are wrong in your chart without just using the basic sense of discernment the basic sense of discernment I'm talking about like when you're you know your internal guidance system when something's telling you it's wrong rather than looking at a star chart or listening to a tarot reader or listening to you know something else that's that has no idea about the situation apart from you you, you know this is supposed to be your confirmation it's about you trusting yourself within this because this is why this doubt is reversed because it's it this is this is meaning that there's a lack of self trust here so chuck everything in the bin and just listen to yourself and then that's how you understand and i i do also think because this is you or more that this stems from a lack of self esteem on both sides so that's also something to think about it's quite stern this reading but you've got a really beautiful outcome that really wants to come out and you've got you know, the potential is so there. So I think it's really important that you're, you're, I just see that little hair just dancing around all over the place. And I'm just like, what, what are you doing? You know, like, just kind of, just kind of be grounded in the energy that Jupiter is giving to you, this kind of like sense of expansiveness. I don't know what Jupiter is, Jupiter, I don't know if Jupiter is doing something funny at the moment. I'll have to check. But yeah, that's what I see. Take it only if it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it's just a reading. All right, last card to close out this reading, pile two. Oh, I love this card, these cards. You are star-born, solar-kissed, and lunar-blown. Mm, there's a hug from me in the universe. Pile two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, my darlings, have a wonderful morning, evening, uh, day, whenever you're choosing to watch this. And remember that honesty is always key. Bye. Part three, hello, and welcome to your reading. So you chose this, sorry for the ski whiffness on the card. You chose this beautiful, I love this stone so much, this black jade um, with this kind of like, like these tiny little flecks of, I think it's pyrite. Um... 
and it's a deeply protective stone like this stone is just like a powerhouse a real powerhouse of um of power basically it's like it's probably one of the most protective stones that you can get and um, because of the combination with the metal and that's what's hitting me um i i can't like i can't get enough of stones like this i'm a big fan of hematite um i i, I can't yeah hematite um did i say hematite i'll say it again hematite <laughs> black shiny stones i'm actually like looking for my hematite at the moment um but i can't seem to find it i usually have some boytroid or hematite here but i don't know where it's gone which is really interesting but anyway black shiny stones so something reflective something that you're deflecting um, and something that you are, I think you are effectively, you are, you are dealing with better than you think you are. Um, you're almost presenting some kind of impenetrable force that is stopping people from like being able to access you with their bullshit. So that seems to be what's happening right now, part three. Let's have a look. Advice for your current situation, part three. <laughs> Look at that dragon, oh my god. <laughs> the power of being. Love that. Love that. You just be you, baby. You just be you. Oh, I love it. They're so like, um, for those of you who watch Game of Thrones, they're so like, you know, uh, sugar, what's the name of the house? Targaryen. Targaryen house house there you know the ones who actually can you know who who uh you know they are the keeper of the dragons there's this but it's not even that actually it's more that you are the dragon you know you are you just be such incredible energy love it love it people are intimidated by you and I think that's what I felt by that stone as well that you are intimidating and maybe that's what you're encountering maybe you're like god what's well, like people are just being afraid of me oh my god the same card came out for pile um i think pile, pile one or pile two i don't know one of the piles and it was reversed so i don't know my darlings it seems like you are totally in your power pile three you are in your power Absolutely. I think it was part two. It doesn't matter. You are in your power right now. And I don't know, maybe you don't feel like it. Maybe you feel that it's not um, happening. Let's have a look. I'm curious to see what's happening for you right now because advice for your current situation, advice for part three's current situation, advice for part no. Advice for Pile Three's current situation. No, too many. I want only one. Advice for Pile Three's current situation, please. May I have advice for Pile Three's current situation? Okay, what's going on? It's taking a while to come out. Okay, surrender. Ah, that's why. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So sorry for the shakiness on the camera, but um, that's what's going on there's a lack of surrender <laughs> that's why it was taking so long to come out um it was all tight <laughs> like i've got to like i've got to be this person i've got to like i've got to control i've got to do things <sighs> let it go what i'm really seeing here is this beautiful like gorgeous mauve mauve of of these you know the purple here it's kind of contradicting the red even though this is like quite a fierce like looking character there's still this beauty of the flames and and then you've also got what's really interesting is that you have a flower of life here in the background i don't know if you can see that you might be able to because we're in daylight at the moment and usually when we're using the artificial light it doesn't really work out but um yeah we do still have like flower of life kind of vibes going on um you you're pretty powerful pile three um you've got like a really strong persona you have strong influence um but i think it's important for you to relinquish it because you could lose it at any time so i think 
yeah. you know, what's that saying? A man is truly in power or like a person is in truly is truly in power of something when they have the ability to um when they have the ability to destroy it or let it go. So yeah. No, 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 no. Sorry, I was distracted by something there. Um, I do apologize. Okay, right. So what advice for pile three's current situation? Advice for pile three's current situation. It's very tight. It's very, very tight. Very tight lipped. Okay. And I think to to a certain extent there's only a sense of like letting things slip only like only letting go when you let things slip. It's like you're not even you're not even allowing yourself to to let anybody in in this respect. And I don't know if you know how dangerous that is. Not a good place to be because it kind of kind of creates the tower, you know. And you've got such, you know, it's almost like you know, it, it's it's that thing, you know, like when people win tournaments and then they have to ref, they have to defend their title. It's like that kind of thing, you know. And the real thing is, is that, you know, if you just understand, yeah, you just do the best you can. And if you win it at that time, then that's all well and good. But like, you know, your life isn't over because you don't win it anymore. It just means that your time is over with that thing. But me talking about it and it actually being understood as a concept is very, very different. <laughs> it's easy to talk about it. Okay. The universe wants to give you, I think, three cards. Yeah, it wants to give you three cards. Okay, so you and pile two got five cards. Poor pile one only got four, but never mind. The the energy really wanted to present itself in four cards for pile one. God, I'm even taking my time. Like here, I don't know, maybe some of you really like the idea of taking your time with things. But it also is a little bit of an avoidance strategy. Okay, so we've got the Hermit. The Empress reversed. Hmm. Oh my god, the Hierophant reversed. Okay, so we've got three Major Arcana. Okay, Seven of Swords. Sounds about right. And then we've got the Five of Swords. Uh, five of um, Cups. So, Pearl 3, this may be something to do with the maternal line. Um, I'll just put that out there initially. It might be to do with control issues that may have stemmed from the maternal side. Um, and there seems to be a denial. Um, in fact, it's an abs I, I would go as far to say not just a denial, it's a complete false sense of security that maybe, you know, you've conditioned yourself to being in. And that's not to say that you don't, you are that, okay? The only reason why I say that is because we've got surrender in these two here. So it says to me that you are succumbing to a situation which is, which is fake. It's not real. And it's actually like... You know, you've got this here where we've got this involvement of these two gorgeous lovebirds here. And look at what the snake's doing. It's so sinister. So this is what happens when you get involved in something. It's almost like, you know, it's like, oh, it's such a nice situation. And then really, there's some really, really bad things about the situation, you know. Um... Hierophant reverse usually for me would be that we are looking at a different perspective. 
I think you might be fooling yourself, or not even a different, a different perspective, a different way of doing things, a different like strategy, a different approach. Um, the Hierophant reversed is telling me that you might be even, I would go as far to say as fooling yourself into thinking that's what you're doing. This is intense. I might have to put a trigger warning because I don't want you to come for me. Don't come for me. I'm just reading what the cards say, okay? <laughs> um, and I don't know if this is because you've kind of been maybe in this space of just in your own kind of echo chamber of stuff. Because what I'm seeing here right now is someone who has been on their own quite a lot and has had to do things on their own, has figured out a way of doing things on their own in terms of being strong. And then they've gone forward with a way of doing things. But actually, it's a state of denial. Now, we these are, these are, court, uh, these are pip cards, so this is totally changeable. It's not anything permanent at all. Um, this is just in, res in, in respect to the situation. I am concerned about this Hierophant reversed though, because it kind of follows on from the Empress reversed. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a conditioning of patterning that's come from something that's unhealthy in a paternal perspective. It might not necessarily be to do with the mother, but it's interesting. It's really interesting. And when I say interesting, I, I, I mean, this is something for you to think about, whether or not that this is something. If it's relevant, it's relevant. If it's not, it's not. Don't take it if it's not. This should, again, only be confirming what you already know. Part three. Please remember that. I love you lots. Um, because you're a powerful bunch, part three. I wouldn't mess with you. Um, let's have a look at some clarification. Wait, five, five of cups. Tendency to look on the, the darker side of life. Tendency to be pessimistic. It reminds me a little bit of like when I was younger and I used to like always just be a pessimist because I thought it was safer. So if I'm a pessimist, then it's just safer because I'm going to face so much rejection and disappointment throughout my life. I was working as an actor. Then, um, and trust me, I took it so personally. So personally, it was exhausting. Um, and then, you know, now... Well, it doesn't matter what I think now, it's about then. But, like, in terms of how it, it feels, it's just like disappointment so it kind of like feeds into that space where you just like mm, i'm not going to relinquish control because what do i have control of i don't know i think you may be i don't know i'm really getting strong like fooling yourself here vibes it's not the moon reversed this is about thinking that someone's doing something the right way that's what i'm like getting it's not justice reversed. I'm trying to think of the other cards that could tell me this, this message. Because I always kind of think, okay, what other cards? But why aren't they there? Why is the Hierophant coming out reversed? And it's because of this Empress reversed. It's almost like telling me that there's a way that you believe how to do things. And you've continued this way of doing things. And it's actually not at all the right way. It's actually, it's actually damaging you quite deeply. And it's causing a consistent sense of disappointment. The Hermit is clarified by the Ace of Cups. I mean, you know, like, you're my pal threes. You've got the incentive. You've got the knowledge. You've got the insight. You've got everything that you need to be able to, 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 to traverse this emotional kind of, like, slight roadblock. It's only slight because this is only advice on your current situation. This is not life thing. This is just current situation. But it is stemming from some kind of thing back in the past some some fuckery i don't know um okay you've got temperance good wonderful so i feel like you are considering it i feel like you are aware of it king of coins reverse okay yeah, yeah yeah this is correct 
So king of coins, I always see reversed. When I see that reversed, it reminds me of the devil. The Hierophant inadvertently is the devil reversed. So it's like kind of like it's similar to that, even though like in when I teach the tarot, it's kind of placed underneath the lovers or placed above the lovers. In terms of the next stage of development, it is also if you look at the image on the traditional right away, it's essentially the it is like the um, the devil. So the Hierophant is like the devil um, because they both got their you know, the fingers going up like that. Um, so yeah, it's a lesser form. I think like you may be, you may be, there just seems some ideals, some false gods, some false things that you're adhering to. I just got the image of the, you know, when, when Moses led the, the Israelites into the desert and then they just started worshiping that golden calf. It's like that. So you may even be looking towards money. It may even be material possessions. For some of you, it might be a particular handbag. <laughs> I just saw, I just saw a really nice, expensive handbag. Maybe a, a Hermes Birkin. I don't know. Um, something, something like that. That's kind of like moving towards that. Like that, that, that there may be an idea of the goal, and it's those things. And I don't know. I feel like you're aware. I feel like you're aware of it. Wow, Queen of Swords. Okay, I see what's going on here. Page of Wands reversed. Okay. I don't know, page, uh, page? Page four? I don't know why I wanted to say that. <laughs> page, uh, page, pile three. This is to do with total lack of self-belief. Your self-talk is, 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 detrimental to yourself um you're not you're not being kind to yourself at all and because you're not kind to yourself it's almost like you're destroying the the seedling of your efforts in terms of your spiritual progression you know i think a lot of you know how to uh, manage yourselves um and my pile threes usually do um they're they're like you know, there's a kind of spiritual adeptness that, that you, you guys usually display. But what's going on here is that that spiritual adeptness or that spiritual kind of dexterity is being marred by this, this lack of self-belief. And it's, you know, when we do these, these processes of going through the dark night of the soul and going through this, you know, you, you reveal, you peel back layers of the onion and then you get through and then you see that 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 bit of rot that's like way underneath and it kind of like it shocks you because you know you, you never knew it was there but it was there but you had to get through all those layers first so i think you know there is this whole thing of like thinking that we've 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 done so much healing it should be all done by now and it's that's a load of bs so is about respecting that even though you are adept, you still have work to do. And that's not about, that's not about going, oh God, I have work to do, blah, blah, blah. No, it's about, my darling, it's okay. It's okay, we've all got work to do and you're just as held as everybody and you're just as important as anybody else to be nurtured and nourished within this time, even though you are this strong dragon of a personality, you still are a precious human being of the universe that deserves love, care and attention and beauty and um, safety and um, the opportunity to be vulnerable. Woof, that was uh, pretty tough. I'm trying to say that without crying. Um, yeah. <laughs> you are loved, part three. You are loved. Deeply. Deeply. Self. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
self-worth, love, value, respect. On a pile of money, right? On a pile of coins. We reverse it. And also it's the number 11. And look at what we're prioritizing over those things. Should be the other way around. Let that be your guidance, okay? Let that be your guidance. Work towards that, okay? Work towards that. Screenshot it and put it in your phone or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's what is needing to happen. But you're prioritizing the monies over that. Okay, last card to call out the reading or to close out the reading. Another beautiful hug from the universe. This one? Yeah, this one. <laughs> but you like it a bit weird. <laughs> Oh, I love these cards so much. My darling pile three, I love you loads and you're the best. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please do do those things. Share it if you think it was um, worth it. Um, but otherwise, um, have a beautiful morning, evening, night, day, whenever you're choosing to watch this. Um, and remember, my darlings, lots and lots of loves to you. Um, and remember that honesty is always key.